Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 26, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and uh, my portfolio is in the link down below and all my trades are also visible there if anybody cares to look in full disclosure. So let's look at the WTI and as you can see, we have basically been doing nothing today. We have been rallied up towards $111 per barrel and dropped towards $109 per barrel. So at the current stage, we are still trading within this channel and it is probably more likely that will drop towards the bottom of the channel before continuing higher in the near future. Uh, breaking above here, uh, then we are most likely going to test $116 and then after that, uh, this candlesticks here, which is roughly at 122, 124, and all the way up to 130 dollars per barrel. Breaking below here, then these candlesticks come into play. This bottom, 98, roughly 93, and then the 200 moving average will come to play, which moves in this direction. If you look at MACD, it is becoming bearish. Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If you look at the, the weekly chart for the NASDAQ, no, it's NASDAQ with WTI oil, we can see that we're still within this channel. But if we drop below here, then the long term perspective is the 50 moving average here, and that will come into play. And we could see this drop all the way down towards, give or take, $90. Breaking below here, that opens the door to the 200 moving average, which is trading would we be trading roughly at $67. And that's where we technically were prior to the, um, the coronavirus, before we broke. We were basically trading within this channel of roughly 64 uh, down towards the 50, uh, 51, give or take, for quite a significant amount of time, basically between or from um, uh, 2019. So if economic uh, downturn is coming, then we may see energy pull back it's, as it is the only, uh, nearly only sector in the market that still hasn't seen a downturn. And there is going to be down um, demand destruction uh, sooner or later. MACD is becoming bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at natural gas. And natural gas has become completely parabolical day, went all the way up to $9.4. And at this current stage, it's um, too elevated to basically, um, to take a look, to buy it here. To buy it at this point is really, really risky. There, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for uh, natural gas, this is the weekly, we can get turned to the daily. We can look at the long term, we can see that we can see that if we pull back towards uh, uh, 38.2, that is roughly here at uh, 7.5, that should be uh, support. Down here at the 50, that's also where we find that the 50 moving average, that is roughly at the 6.9 or around seven. And then finally down to 61.8. And that is probably as far as this market will go. If you look at where this is, that is roughly where we also find these uh, double tops here and that's probably where uh, this market will find its very bottom we'll also have the 200 moving average moving in this direction so we'll have significant amount of support around this area here so if we were to uh, pull back if we were to break up uh, below all of these uh, support levels then probably this is as far as this will go we are entering a new period where energy is not going to be cheap but still people will have to be able to buy this in order to use it and as long as inflation is very high then there is going to be demand destruction and people will cut back on energy um, energy uh, usage so if you look at the MACD it's still bullish stochastic is turning around becoming bearish and the, and the RSI is uh, bullish as well and we are still there still it's still very low at 66 so there's a lot of room to the upside you can see the last time we went really parabolical was from uh, mid-march all the way towards mid 
April, this massive rally here. And at that point, we got all the way up to 86 in RSI. So this could go a lot higher before it goes lower, but still it is way outside of the bullish band. And, and uh, usually when you have a pullback, like you also had the day, it tends to pull back towards ten fallback support. And at this current stage, it is the middle of the bullish band, which is around here. It is the 50 moving average. As you can see, we have rallied up to here, middle of the bullish band rally, break down towards 50 rally and then we could see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band and then continue higher break below this or this that opens the door to the fibonacci retracement 50 and the 61.8 and probably at the uh, lower level towards the 200 moving average as this is the time of year when basically demand should be falling off a cliff as well so, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.